Chick Fil A is just down the street, dude. Let's go. It's like we're basically doing like a progressive dinner right now. Shut up! You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta. Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's cousin Ryan. It's PJ, and this is not how I planned this video to go. I did not expect it to be night, but daylight savings time after work is a real bummer. It creeps up on you. It does, and I'm not a fan of it. I didn't plan on it raining. Here. Totally. I did not plan on it raining tonight. But out here on the West Coast, that, that's, you know. I mean, we need rain. We do, we do. So, so we're gonna try not to complain. The Urban Garden at Home, I've never seen this store here before. I have not either. I so, either. here's the deal. We're gonna go to Foster Freeze because they've got birthday cake cone dip, ice cream cone right. dip. And you guys know that Cousin Ryan, like, I will birthday consume. cake is his middle name. That's right. So yeah, we're going to check um, it out, see what he thinks. And you're big on Foster Freeze, oh, yeah? Oh, dude, so Foster's Freeze for PJ Sorry. is a huge piece of nostalgia because growing up, my parents, like, didn't like to go out very much. Part of it was, like, money. Part of it was, I don't know if they're, what they thought about fast food or whatever, but they would take us to Foster's. And that was the place, like, my dad would take me to all the time for burgers and shake, so I would always get a pineapple shake at Foster's Freeze, and that's the place where I learned to dip my fries in my shake. Uh, so like nostalgic levels for me, especially with my dad um, passing away 20 years ago, like just like DEFCON 4 when it comes to Def Foster's Freeze, dude. <laughs> Love Foster's Freeze. Yeah, I have to share this with you, like I'm Yeah, amped. this is awesome, I'm man. I'm amped. I think we went to the one over in Rosalind more than we did this one. And see, this is the one that we went to, because okay. we lived down in yeah, the yeah. valley. I think I prefer this one just because it looks a little more like the classic. It like does. you walk up and order your ice cream. You don't get it to does. sit down or anything. The other one you sit down in. Katati had one that wasn't Foster's. Remember, it was like Frank's Freeze, but That's it was the right. same, same th thing. It was the same thing. And there used to be one where Mountain Mike's is on the Ave by Applebee's and Target. I didn't know that. That, that was built as a Foster Freeze, but it was Incredible super modern. So it didn't, Yeah, it didn't have that like, Incredible it had a drive through man. Foster's doesn't have a drive through Not at all. Like it shouldn't. Um, you know what's interesting is now sometimes when I think Foster's, remember the old Foster's beer commercial? Bia. Oh. Foster's. Australian, Australian for Bia. Yeah. This Foster's is better. Yeah. Well, should we get our ice cream? Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. it. All right. Nice. And right. Be something else back then. Oh yeah, Super Burger's phenomenal. Oh yeah, their burgers. Are phenomenal. And it's then phenomenal. right over here and like down the next streets, McDonald Avenue. Yep. That's where uh, Ryder and I went and looked at the yep. rural cemetery. Yep. This is a little bit <clears throat> like darker it than, it, than I thought it would be. But it looks really good. I don't know if you guys good. can see that very well, but the it's chocolate got isn't out of the this bad boy. Funfetti. Oh, the dude that uh, we bought this from, the guy working there, recommended chocolate ice cream instead of vanilla. I so. can see them making it. So were you like poking the hole and then sucking everything out? Were you that dude? No. I was never that guy either. Okay. Wow, this is pretty good, man. I gotta tell you, this is highly, highly recommended. I agree, because honestly, I think the vanilla would have been good, mm -hmm. but this is a good um, contrast. It is. Yeah, the chocolate ice cream I think makes it. Mm -hmm. Good call. I gotta tell you, I'm not birthday cake like you are, and I think this is great. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what must be going with your taste buds right now. Yeah, it. Uh, I mean, Christmas came early for this guy. <laughs> it did. I. I'm gonna criticize just a little bit. I'm fine. I'd like it a little bit thicker. I'd like the shell to be just a little bit thicker. I can see that. But it's good though. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you could even make the shell any thicker. You might be stuck with it. It might not like That's solidify if it's mm -hmm. too too thick. But mm -hmm. mm. Mm. if you don't have a Foster's Freeze, you should tell us like what place do you have that would do something like this. Mm -hmm. I know Dairy Queens are super common. Mm -hmm. 
I think for me, if we're going to go nostalgia with uh, ice cream, it would be Dairy Queen. Because mm-hmm. that's what yeah. we had in Minnesota mm. by my grandpa- or near my grandparents. Makes sense. Butterfinger Blizzard, man. That was my jam. I, of course, was Oreo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, my Dairy Queen experience was in the mall. Mm. Gosh, never, and that wasn't until the mid-90s, right? Right. Yeah. But dude, I... After school, we'd head to the mall to just walk around, people watch, and either go to Orange Julius, mm-hmm. Sparrow. Mm. The pizza was great. And at the time, I thought pandas were only in the mall. So you go to Panda, remember? I think at that point they were only in the mall. Mm-hmm. Panda Express. Mm-hmm. What's your go-to at Panda Express? Mm-hmm. So it used to be, for nostalgia purposes, mm-hmm. it was the two-item combo, both orange chicken. Oh, there you go. And chow mein. Yep. Now that I go for the bowl, and I kind of I like the teriyaki chicken there. I don't think I've ever had the teriyaki chicken. I'm always I've always gotten orange chicken. It's tasty. Orange chicken's really good though. And I have a friend. Who got me on the honey walnut shrimp? Also very good. Okay. But yeah, I used to think Sparrow or Panda, and then Dairy Queen Fear Blizzard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's funny. I never went to Hot Dog on a Stick. Hot Dog on a Stick. Yeah. The best lemonade in the world, man. Really? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Hmm. You know, hot dog on a stick is gone now. Yeah. At least in our mall. Mm-hmm. The summer before it closed, not knowing it was going to close, I took Ryder there because I'm like, dude, you've got to have the hot dog on a stick experience at the mall. Mm-hmm. Two corn dogs, split some fries, and two lemonades. And maybe we got some of the small order of those like uh, funnel cake sticks mm-hmm. they had. $22, man. Wow. That kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah. Like, you could get yeah. round table pizza for $22. Mm-hmm. And it's mall food, you know. Totally. Totally. This is really good. It is. I'm a fan. Friends, don't you love watching people eat? <laughs> mm. Yeah. I'm not... Hmm. I was just never a hot dog on a stick person. No? Mm-mm. Never. Do you not like corn I dogs? I'd love them. Oh. I just never thought about it. It was always like, I want pizza or, mm. or panda. Yep. I love Mrs. Fields cookies, and I never got her cookies there. You know, I feel like as a kid, we didn't get Miss Fields because they were so expensive. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like, dang, that's... Uh, the other thing I would get in that mall was... They had a Burger King there. Mm. That was later, though, mm-hmm. when the food court moved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then sometimes I go for the Western Whopper. Okay. You know what I never did in there and then regretted? But now it's back with a vengeance. Is we had a Chick-fil-A in our mall. Mm. And then we lost it. Yeah. But now it's back with a vengeance. And mm-hmm. I'm, my down, family's down Chick-fil-A. the street. Mm-hmm. Their waffle fries. That's what I remember the most as a kid was getting their waffle fries. And pro tip, get your waffle fries well done. You said that before. I forgot. You'll thank me later. I'm Trust me. Try that. Trust me. Like, and when you say well done, are they burnt? or No. in and out can do that to you. But okay. I think it's actually like the perfect amount of crisp. Huh. Mm-hmm. But I've heard if you get, like, animal fries in and out... Mm-hmm. You want those well done. Because then when it melts, right, it doesn't get soggy. You know what I think we should do? Chick fil A is just down the street. Dude. Let's go. It's like we're basically doing like a progressive dinner right now. That's right. We're starting with ice cream and we're going to finish with fries. Mm hmm. You want to? Dude. Let's do it. Throw the royster. All right, all right. This is awesome. Sit tight. We'll it's be so back good. with you in a minute. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. What were you right, saying? Fine, you're good. Okay. All right, what does that bag say? Well done. What's it look like, man? Do they look well done? I, my theory, bro, 
going to change the way that you view fries at Chick Fil A. Will it? That's my theory. Yeah. Will it? All right. You're gonna like it. Some ketchup. Ooh, those are hot. You can feel the heat coming off of them. Fries are so good here that it makes me angry when I forget to order them. <laughs> That's how good they are in my opinion. Those do have a slightly more like golden hue to them. Who do you think? I feel like I love Chick Fil A. I feel like their fries are their worst part because what? they don't cook them enough. So the oh. fact that you can get them well done. Yeah. Yeah. In my opinion. Uh, yeah. I would agree. This is much better than just the standard. Because it's not like... Yeah. What did you get to drink? I had a Coke with your sugar. Bye. I went with Cole Trickle's sponsor in the 1990 Daytona 500, Mellow Yellow. This one right here. That's like the money fry. Do you, if you're a crispy man. Really? Is that? I feel like it. It's right now. Do you think that's the? I should eat that? Because I was gonna ask you, like, course, is dude. that? It's not registering on the camera how dark and almost translucent mm -hmm. that is. Do I go? Do I go? Uh, do I go ketchup on this, or do I just? No, oh, I get got a ketchup. Got it. Okay. It'll be like a. Think of it. I bet my. My theory is it'll be like a soft potato chip. That's Here we go. Is that too crunchy? I don't know, you? dude. Okay. I don't know. Okay. It's a little... I like the well done as much as others. It's a little bit gross, to be honest. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. I've been talking about before. It means more for me. <laughs> I don't regret my decision, but I'm not happy with it either. You ready to wrap this one up, man? Ready, dude. I'm ready. I really like the well done fries at Chick fil A. Um, I'm just thinking about that with a full meal. Yeah, with their nuggets, man. Their nuggets are on point oh, for sure. I like their point. nuggets. The Foster Freeze ice cream. I like the birthday cake dip, man. It was good. I agree. I yeah. would. I, I could actually I'd... see myself getting that more than once. Oh, for you sure. know I could. And with Definitely. chocolate. I mean, I wouldn't mind trying it with vanilla just to see, man. Yeah. But the chocolate I mean, I was a nice contra contrast of flavors. I'm glad that was suggested. Speaking of birthday cake, I had, and I tried to go buy more because I can't find them. I put them somewhere where they wouldn't be eaten. Mm -hmm. And there's only so many places. I had birthday cake truffles from Seas Candy. I couldn't find them. I don't know where they went. Like I, I saved two yeah. just for us to review. I don't know where they went. Somebody got to them. Somebody might have gotten to them. That's fine, as long as they enjoyed it. I guess, but now you guys, we can't enjoy them with you. Right. Maybe but, next time, yeah, <clears throat> right, good point. Uh, Mellow Yellow was on point. I like Mellow Yellow. That was good. That was a nice snack. Um, yeah. Nice snack on a rainy night here That's in That's right, Ohio. that's right. I didn't, like I said, I didn't plan on this being a rainy night video at all. I pictured us going to Foster Freeze in the daylight. And, totally. But we lost nice. daylight. We have. Yeah, no, this is good. It was good, it was really all good. Right. So, I guess until next time, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Yeah. And uh, be excellent to each other. Be filthy animals. And don't stop chasing your nostalgia. Never. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, it's bigger than any superstar. All of us pitch you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.